All right, episode 90. Wow. Yeah, 10 more and then we hit 100. And then everyone gets a million dollars, starting with us. Yes. Yeah. I do want that. I would like a million dollars, but you know, a million dollars is not the same as it once was. You need like a billion now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this episode's all about debunking and proving and uh, glorifying Apple. Because as we know, Steve Jobs was the greatest. <laughs> and uh, Tim Cook's Apple is a mere shadow of the juggernaut that is Steve Jobs. Hey, well, under Tim Cook, it reached a trillion, so... Touche. But who laid the foundation? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But who kept it going? Double touche. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. And we are back with another episode of Crack Gamers. This is your weekly roundup. We are talking about four things that we thought were cool from the week. And we dissect them in a Socratic way as Vish plays video games. Hence the name Socratic Gamers. So, mm-hmm. first on the docket... Vish? Uh, Apple. I have two things about Apple. Okay, cool. So the first thing, some good news, I guess. Mm-hmm. Well, they had an, uh, an event. Well, it's like a different kind of thing. It wasn't a product launch necessarily. It was more of a service launch. Like, uh, like normally, okay, so they normally they have, you know, iPhone event, iPad event or something like that or Mac, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. or software like uh, WWDC. But this one was very much focused on... I think they're focusing now more on services as their primary core offering. Uh, not necessarily primary because they'll still make a lot of money from iPhones and such. Okay. But they do make, they will make a lot more, like added on. Oh, so okay, they're expanding their market from products to yeah. services. Okay, yeah. I understand. Yeah, I think that's where it needs to go. Okay, cool. Um, so, like, we already have one. Actually, that makes you know? complete sense because how many iPhones could you keep recreating? Yeah, you know and, what I mean. So and it's like, you've already got the market for the iPhone, so now you just can sell them in service product as well. Right, right, right. So it right, just right. makes it that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Better that way. Uh, so, like, we already have one. Okay. Well, Apple Music. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We're already paying that monthly. True. You <laughs> know, you know, Apple Music was such a game changer because it totally stopped piracy. I remember before, like, allegedly. Uh, back in the days well, of piracy. Well, I mean, uh, iTunes was there for that. No, no, right, for sure, for sure. But, but it then, wasn't as easy because you'd have to pay, yeah. like, individual songs or albums and stuff. And you're like, well, digital's – are we really going to go digital, et cetera, et cetera? Or, like, right. why can't I just pirate the digital copy? Uh-huh. We also didn't have credit cards. Mm-hmm. not saying we did that. I'm just saying, like, in a time of piracy, the age we grew up in, yeah. um, it was, like, pretty prevalent. Mm-hmm. And, and with, like, Apple – Apple Music and it's, iTunes and stuff. Yeah. It's like, it sort of like became like Netflix. It's like, I would just, it would just be cheaper. It would be, I, I wouldn't mind paying like 14 bucks a month to like have unlimited music. Right. Versus like trying to like scour the internet for like a allegedly pirated copy. Well, yeah. I mean, Spotify was out there for a longer time too, right? Spotify. Almost yeah. yeah uh, right. Seven years or something. But like, but the Spotify thing is, was like, uh, like, but the thing is, yeah, yeah, it's like Apple Music is built in, so they've already gained a huge amount of following. Yeah, totally, totally. Already. So, anyways, and, so, and you know it's gonna work. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so they had. I think it was wait, wait, quick, three quick or pause, four, quick four pause. Things, actually. Speaking of uh, it, it working, I actually really like that about Apple because a lot of people are like, oh, how come it's so difficult to get this program? And I, I always, I always champion them. I'm like. Yeah, it's closed architecture so that you can ensure that every program and device works mm-hmm. within its, like... Ecosystem. Ecosystem, yeah. yeah. But then people get, like, upset, but it's like, no, no, no they're doing this for you, you know, because Windows has so many viruses. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, first they announced Apple News. Oh, plus fascinating. Apple News Plus. Okay, cool. Is it World News? Like, will it cover uh, your region? So, basically, they're helping out magazines because they ain't doing well on the news news. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, it's them and you'd get different magazines, Time Magazine, Vogue, and all that stuff all in a monthly subscription. All right, TBH, who honestly reads anymore? Uh, I mean, I read books. That, that's kind of like... I think people do. I think, I think there is a market. But uh, but like I it's just not don't, for me. I just don't trust the. Yeah, I agree. I just don't trust the media. Like I'd prefer to read a book because like within the book, 
or the thing I like about books is that like they're trying to give you one piece of information and then all of the fluff is like there to support that piece of information. See what I'm saying? It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not just like yeah, it's newspapers. But, but right, it, for, it for sure, for sure. Like, but, uh, but with like newspapers and stuff, it's like yeah, that's sure, sure. a right, reporter yeah. giving you a like a very superficial overview. You're never gonna find something like crazy and like maybe once in a while. Like yeah, once that, in a while, like the spotlight like the, stuff. Yeah. Well, I spotlight types of. Or that one, the reporter from Rolling Stones that got killed because he followed the... Actually, there is a lot of things mean, people like, just uh, don't read really into the newspaper. There's a lot of things in there, not just in the front page. I think the general distrust but, in the uh, media, though, now makes it like... Well, because uh, I think... But, uh, what, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I still think it's two different things, but uh-huh. uh, like the newspaper is following the... Uh, like the video news media, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like CNN and things, mm-hmm. but those are the like CNN is very focused on uh, entertainment based and so for sure, for sure. Where a newspaper is still an old school method, no, and they no, still no. have yeah, yeah. quite uh, like a lot of the um, but I'm talking um, about like investigative, like a lot of the investigative, ju- yeah, no, I know, I know, yeah, a lot of the investigative journalism still happens in newspapers. True, but I feel like those investigative journalists would be better off doing individual channels of like we could follow you like it's like why do you need the the medium of the newspaper you know what i'm saying like tim pool yeah yeah, yeah is I he know, associated with anything but i was gonna say that it's kind of funny now because like the more books i read and then you're like you're like oh it's just as doctored as um as like news media because some some books are like completely mm-hmm. wrong like it like like who who put this into publication you'll read it and you're like this is so fake you know? well, that's also entertainment, though, right? If it's gonna totally, totally. And, like, that's – I think we – I assume that, like, books have more of a uh, legitimacy behind them, but mm-hmm. they don't, no, you know? Yeah. And it's all about finding no. – doing enough research on both sides to realize, like, okay, what's really going on here? Yeah. Yeah. So, was, anyways, uh, that's not really much for me. Apple News Plus, I guess, whatever. It's okay. It's a $10 American a month, I guess. And then what, what magazines do you get with that? A bunch of different magazines. They have it on their website. So. Anything like super cool that you'd be like, oh, I'd pay ten bucks a month for this magazine. Again, I don't know. No, I right, don't. Yeah, totally. yeah, that's not for yeah. me. It's probably an older, an older audience. audience. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who reads? Yeah. Who well, reads I mean, anymore, they're really? yeah, they're just you know helping them out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess, or maybe they're making partners. Maybe this is like a part of a grander scheme because now that be. you know, what I mean, like yeah. if they if they get into partnerships with these people, maybe they're going to start their own magazine later on. Yeah. You know, something like that, yeah. or like they can like they can tap into the workforce there. You're like, oh, this this person's really smart. Let mm-hmm. me hire them part of my team. Like poaching, you know, poaching people. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Anyway, the next thing well, it's not in order of how they announced it, but uh, the next thing was Apple Arcade. Oh, that's cool. Wait, so, are this is your second topic, or no, no, no. This oh, is all in the same. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, just a uh, there's four of them, and I'll hit on one thing that I like the most. Okay, cool. Um, so Apple Arcade is just Games, uh, yeah, about a hundred exclusive games or something. Uh huh. Exclusive games. Well, on I mean, meaning only on iOS, basically, or uh, yeah, on iOS most likely. Who plays iOS games? That's the mobile other thing. gaming is huge, actually. Oh, mobile gaming. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got you. No, no, no. I thought you meant like off the laptop. I was like, oh no. Oh, who does well, that? I mean, I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. One. Yeah, no, one, much, no one really. Yeah, especially <laughs> if it's like a Mac. Like all the yeah, no, like you. This no. is a Windows platform because Mac would not be able to like hack. Well, it's not. You, cu- you like, wouldn't like hack it right, the way custom, you're like you. Uh, stay tuned for behind the scenes. We're going to do a tech tech gear setup kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Mine's more like what I like about my section, but Vish is the the gearhead here. He built his own PC, so. Yeah, but see again, not <laughs> Mac, PC. Right. So. So yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of cool. No price point on that. It will be coming like out in the fall. Oh. Uh, well, they had a video. It looks kind of cool. Like Final Fantasy, something like that, or like. Mm, I don't know what exclusive. But I don't know what deals they'll get. True. They said right. hundred games, so. Uh, it could be like, it could be like Angry Birds. Could be, but these don't look mm. like Angry Birds, does it? Mm, no. <laughs> Just mm-hmm. watching a video here. Uh, yeah. So, and then uh, they didn't announce a price for that, but it's coming out in the fall. Oh, okay. So it could be more than $10, I would assume. Uh, then 
Apple TV Plus. Okay. Right? That's it's better I mean than Apple TV. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just like... So then they had like different um, actors and then come up on stage, even Steven Spielberg, J.J. Abrams. And mm, cool. Talk about the projects that they're working on uh -huh, uh -huh. for Apple. Again, coming out in the fall, still no price point. But I, that's something I do okay. want to get, though. Apple TV Plus? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of like a Netflix. Think of Netflix, I think. and then. Oh, so it's not a device. Right, we're talking about services. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Services. When you said Apple TV Plus, I was like, okay, so like a better so, version of the... So this services, I believe, will be coming... That's where they're making deals with Samsung and on their own smart TVs. No way. Yeah. Samsung. Yeah. Apple and Samsung, that's like, that's an insane powerhouse. I guess. Yeah, yeah. So they... I mean, it's like iTunes, right? iTunes had to... They want to go In order to be successful, way. it had to come out on Windows as well. Right, right. Right, remember the first iPods? Anyways, like you had to get iTunes, but you had to have Windows. So they had to make it. Well, actually, yeah, I don't remember that at all. Okay, so most... Okay, we know that everything that Apple does is for Apple products, right? Yeah. So when iTunes was one of the first things that they had, they released... Cross just on Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. In order for iPods to be successful. Right, yeah, yeah. So like that's... That's what I mean. What they're doing now with Apple oh, TV Plus. Oh, okay, okay. So they're they're starting to put their own foothold in different um, different platforms aside from Apple, so that they can yes. spread it out. Okay, I understand. Yes. All right, true. Exactly. Uh, so that looks cool. I think I want to get that. No price point coming out in the fall. It was like fifty bucks a month. You're like pass on that, good sir. I doubt they can. They would do that because uh, you're competing with Netflix, Netflix, which yeah, is yeah, ten dollars sure. a month. Could you imagine if it was like it was like five bucks a month? Oh, game. I would over, like yeah. a I would like a like a bundle price because I already pay for Apple Music. Well, that'd be kind of cool. Take it up with Apple. They have great customer support. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the one thing that I'm more excited about. Even though most people were excited about, I guess, Apple TV Plus. I was more excited about the only one thing that actually has a product, a physical product too, um, mm -hmm. was Apple Card. Okay. Which is a, kind of a credit card that created by Apple, not a bank. Okay. That's their slogan. So, um, What if people default on the credit card? What do you mean default on the credit card? So well, you... that's where debt, that's where... Any other credit card debt deals with? Yeah, no. They're working with no Goldman banks. Sachs. Oh, okay, okay. You have okay. to have like uh, someone backer. Yeah, some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, so that's what I meant. That's yeah, what I meant. yeah. I was like, because well, it's the, default. Well, this is where's that debt gonna go? Right, but this deal was made. Apple was looking to De someone to work with. Default means if you can't pay. Yeah, I know. I know. No, 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 no. I know. Just if you're listening, you're like default uh, what? Uh, okay. Default settings <laughs> on my laptop. Okay, I don't think we were that down though. Well, maybe. Well, uh, uh, bring it to my next topic. <laughs> Excellent. Great lead into my next topic. Well, I just want to say, like, uh, the Apple Card is something I'm more excited about to get. So ho hopefully it comes out in Canada soon. Mm, that's cool. So working with MasterCard and uh, Goldman Sachs. But if it were to come into Canada, they'd have to be backed by one of the four major banks or five major banks uh, I don't know what are the rules. that They have to apply to the, the rules of the country, right, I guess. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. Yeah, and we yeah. – so, like – I learned this in school before, but like, basically, um, basically each bank in America, the reason why they the economy crumbled mm. is because each bank was like on its own. The bank had to be able to like mm -hmm. lend the money, right? Yeah. So people defaulted, the bank ran out of money, right, to pay like the debts. They had to like keep moving things around. Yeah. But um, the way it works in Canada is there's like four or five major banks, so mm -hmm. like they all work. They don't really work together, but, like, they're all backed by the government. So it's, like, you can't – you have, like, a stronger safety net. You don't have, like, a billion different banks trying to pay off a bunch of loans. You have, like, four, four of them. Right. See what I'm saying? And, yeah, like, yeah. and it's, like, I think it's tied into the government somehow. So it's, like, less likely that you're going to crumble the entire system. Because I asked that once. I was, like, wait, 2008 crisis, is mm -hmm. that going to happen in Canada? And then he's, like, no, it runs differently. Yeah, yeah, the system was differently. Although we were aff affected by the stock market, so like it, it it's like an interconnected woven system. Things, yeah. No, no, like like whatever is trade. Right, 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 right. World trade, yes, right? Yeah. But but we didn't have as much internally. Of a big I'm saying, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, not as not as close. Yeah. But that's because their uh, their banking system so yeah. mm, I don't know spread out. Yeah, different. 
<laughs> anyway, so you're saying. So yeah, they only that that's the one. They'll have a card also for that, like a physical card made out of titanium. Titanium. Yeah. Okay. Apple design. Is that gonna hurt when you sit on it? Uh, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I have that little little sea spook pouch thingy. Okay. Yeah. 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 Anyways, look into alternate wa- uh, wallets, everyone. I think like the big one that you sit on is super archaic. You you would like it all to be on your iPhone. Uh yeah. I wear a lanyard with like a little little pouch with I all my credit cards. I would want everything on my iPhone. That's true. Yeah. Anyways, is that it? Mm, yeah, I mean, I mean, there's cool deals with that, but you can look into that. Three cool. percent on Apple products. Oh okay. Two percent on anything else. Two percent what? Three percent what? Cashback. Cash back. Oh okay. And it's the difference is daily. Okay, cool. So right away. That's cool. Yeah, it goes into your Apple Cash card. Which oh, will, versus annually because right now cash back annually. Or monthly, uh, no, I don't, I don't have any monthly. Oh, just annually? Yeah, yeah, so this is right you have, away. You have a monthly? No, yeah, I don't have a cash back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I think it's all they're all annual. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so this one is daily. That's not bad. So like that's part of like their selling point, I guess. And I think it might be successful. If it did, I, I want it to be so that I can actually get the card here. That's cool. I like it. Just like Apple Pay. Could you yeah. imagine? Like, yeah. if you look at if you look at the way the future is headed, you're gonna have like a like very few major organizations running the whole tech industry. Like, and we're, our society is gonna become prevalently like tech. Uh, tech. Yeah. So it's like you're gonna have like Samsung, Apple, Windows, all these major players like running everything. Yeah. Except if you go to Pacific Mall, <laughs> where they pr- primarily trade in cash or tattoo shops also cash yeah eventually it might affect them i don't know maybe uh those people yeah um, i don't think you'll ever get away with cat like get away with stop using cash no I don't, yeah just it'll take a long time though yeah i don't think it'll be right away but yeah that's all that's not for and people wouldn't want to do that because cash is what allows you to like evade your taxes and stuff yeah there'll be places still for that yeah yeah exactly right like back market deals sure. whatever anyways so yeah is that it yeah that's it for uh first part of apple yeah. all right so speaking of uh well-equipped human uh less than well-equipped humans <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> so a little bit of backstory i'm not too sure i didn't like dig into the origin uh-huh. but I've, I've heard a lot about it on like joe rogan flat earth started on 4chan Okay. So, like, some message board, and then people were like, I guess 4chan sort of they, like they Reddit. so mad at that, but yeah. Okay. Is, is 4chan sort of like Reddit? Uh, I don't really know. I, I didn't look at this. Sort of. I don't like, uh, I don't like message boards. It's not really. So. See, I don't think like, so. message boards seem so archaic to me. That's why I never got into Reddit. Because oh. it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, come on, man. What are we in the 90s? Anyways, so uh, <laughs> Flat Earth is a big thing. Mm right now Mm -hmm. and it all started from people being like let's let's convince the general public to believe in a flat earth society right big cover up so people people think that there's this giant conspiracy going on about like flat earth Mm -hmm. right and i'm here to say i don't actually know if it is flat or round okay so like Mm -hmm. if you look at all right so here's the thing all right so a bunch of the arguments that go towards flat earth yes they make sense but then they could easily be proven yeah exactly so it just it depends on your willingness to look into it so uh let's just throw out a bunch of flat earth stuff and then Mm -hmm. we'll just talk about so like uh one of them is like if the earth is really spinning i know that's not really about flatness but like if it's spinning how come we don't feel it spinning? Right. And then I read in the in that fabric of science book. I had no idea, but I remember like, and I told you this. You're like, what? Yeah, well, it was like grade nine science. I was like, what? <laughs> I, I didn't remember le- learning that. But like, uh, what was it? Relative velocity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, I think it's called relative velocity. Some like, so something like, like that. constant speed. Con- con- yeah, yeah, yeah. Constant speed velocity. Something like that. So like, basically, we've we've habituated to the feeling of the spin. Okay. The, like so, so it's like negative 9.8 is the feeling of gravity yeah if you go faster than negative 9.8 while you're falling you'll feel it yeah okay and just like just like with um just like with the the spin if you're moving faster than the rotation of the earth 
and then you're going to feel speed move, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. if we always felt the rotation of the earth, we'd probably, well, our brains have learned to tune it out, but if we didn't, if we always felt it, wouldn't that be like a little distracting for daily life? Yeah. We'd always be like, we wouldn't be able to walk anywhere, we'd be like walking and falling mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. So evolution has allowed us in its ingenious way to not feel the rotation. Mm -hmm. So that's one of them. Um, I saw this with one video about the curvature where they're like, if it's actually, so like basically you take two boards and then you put them 17 meters away. Yeah. Right. And, uh, from the one board, if it's really flat, if I pointed my light at you, so there's a, there's a one board, there's a hole in it where you're mm -hmm. going to shine your flashlight okay. and there's another board 17 meters away mm -hmm. with also a hole and then you're going to shine your flashlight right. or it's supposed to like receive the light. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. If it was flat, you'd see the light, and it wouldn't like change anything. Seventeen yeah. meters away, right? Right. right. But uh, when they did the experiment, mm. they had to adjust for the curvature of the Earth in order to get the light to pass through both holes. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so, like there's another simple example. Uh, snipers also use the curvature of the Earth when they're shooting mm -hmm. people. <laughs> okay. um, Technology, yeah. like mathematics, like cell phones require the curvature of the Earth for GPS. Mm -hmm. But um, again, they don't believe in GPS. They don't believe in satellites. So then how are you getting your your Apple to work? Make no sense. No, they don't believe they don't, they don't. That That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's, like it, it's almost like you're in two camps. So it, it's, it's not overwhelming evidence that the Earth is flat. Because they do say, like, you know, if you go up in a hot air balloon, you're not going to see curvature. I'm like true I, I could see that mm -hmm. but like or 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 another thing is like well what about the the moon it's round right it's like yeah but it's round but it could be flat so it's like a circular flat object mm -hmm. but like that there, i saw that actually sign. i think mm -hmm. but they also believe or, or uh, because you can see mars they're like yeah mars is round they say that yeah oh so what ours is the only flat planet <laughs> make no sense well it has to abide by the bible a lot of them are True, you're right. You're right. Um, one of the one of the most fascinating ones about um, round objects mm -hmm. is if you take this was in Neil deGrasse Tyson's book, but again, he's a he's a round Earth shell, so <laughs> you know, take it with a grain of salt. Right. So uh, if you if you take um, if you take like a, a weird shaped object, let's say you take a triangle, okay, mm -hmm. and then you 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 spin it in something. Mm -hmm. so much that it starts chipping away at like pieces of the triangle right right like you put it into um like a funnel or something and you like start like shaking it really really hard mm -hmm. it's going to chip away to the point of it becoming a circle yeah yeah and that's why all of our planets are circle because in the explosion mm -hmm. or whatever whenever they're being like bombarded with stuff it's like you're just chipping away and it becomes like a natural curve because the curve is like the shape yeah when you the have most, um, uh, most stable, I guess, mm -hmm. you know? With all the gravity pushing. Like, exactly, pulling exactly. Because if you have, like, a triangle, that one side of the triangle is going to obviously chip away over time. But they don't believe in gravity, though. They believe in buoyancy. Yeah, see, that's... I looked into this a lot more. <laughs> that was really crazy. Because I watched both sides, just for... They don't believe in gravity? They believe in buoyancy? Yeah, they, So they what does that mean? Like, uh, it's buoyancy, it's not gravity. That's why we're on the ground. We, oh, we are, we're like floating. Um, okay, I like, see what you're saying. Like uh, air is less, is more buoyant. More buoyant than water. Yeah. And that's why we're not sinking. Yeah. And we're more dense. Right. I guess. That's how they... Or. But that was an old thinking of gravity before we decided on gravity. Or these. Yeah. I like, and I don't understand why, why they would want to keep people from knowing that the earth is round. Uh, well, their reasoning is, uh, well, uh, that means there's more land out past the ice wall that they're hiding from us. What? Why, why though? Like, why would that be the case? Uh, it's not, it's they, not Game of Thrones, bro. To, they, <laughs> exactly. They want us to keep us, I don't know, blinded or something. That's what they're saying. So behind the ice wall is like a paradise? Yeah, more, more heaven, land. More or Valhalla? Land. Yeah, more land or stuff like that. Uh, that's where the, the ancients reside. The <laughs> gods. Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. If you believe in mm -hmm. flat Earth or you don't believe in flat Earth, honestly, we really don't know. The science is above me. But the simple, because they're like, well, 
lo- like from a logical perspective, flat earth would make sense because of this. And I'm like, for me, it's like from a logical perspective, all the things I just said make round earth for me. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you'll never know unless you go into space and see it for yourself. It's just like I the mean, media. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I feel like we're in two But camps. they don't believe the images though, right? You have to be, I guess you have to be physically there, so. True, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, go into space yeah. and then see it. But what I think is like, the biggest takeaway from this whole thing mm-hmm. is that we live in camps. So you can be like super into science and you can be super into pseudoscience, right? Yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, what is your life like? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's like, these are all just like, these are all just like, like, like morning dew on the windowsill, bro. It's right. like, <laughs> chill out. That's, yeah, That's right. not like, are you hungry right now? Uh, go, go feed on that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Some people really fall into it, I guess. For sure. No, and you know what? Like, I, w- I will admit that I went full circle on one of these things, too, because I was like, I was searching for the... There's something in me that was like, okay, there's something going on in this world that we don't know, mm. right? And then that made me believe in conspiracies, and that's partially why I got into marketing, because I'm like, okay, what is this whole, like manipulation that's going on right yeah and then to realize that the whole manipulation is your mind is creating the manipulation Mm -hmm. so it's like it's not that there's anything nefarious going on it's you are the nefarious thing Mm -hmm. you know what i mean because like the like if you look at the randomness of events well i don't believe in random but if you look at like events just happening Mm -hmm. right we're telling ourselves what's going on sorry right now in the video game, you're looking for a character. You're looking for some puzzle to solve, mm-hmm. right? That you're playing. and But if you don't think of it like you have an objective, because that's the story, like I'm trying to solve this puzzle because this puzzle will mm-hmm. help me save the rest of the world and I will become right. a hero, et cetera, et cetera. If, you, if you're just going through the motions and there's no story, then it's like, that's, the, that's what life is really like. Mm-hmm. There is no story except for what you make for yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like that I feel like that ties into like these camps of like flat earth not a flat earth. It's mm-hmm. like just enjoy your experience, you know. Yeah. Cuz at the end of the day you'll come to realize like let's say let's say you have you're like obsessed with flat earth and then you're like oh you're going to die tomorrow. You'll be like oh my god, who cares about flat earth? I got to spend the rest of my time like, are you are you really going to spend your last day mm-hmm. arguing over flat earth? If you are, then kudos to you because you found something that's really important in your life but if you're the person that's like oh no i want to go do this before i die then it's like go do that stop thinking about flat earth then right it doesn't really matter like at the end of the day it doesn't really matter like what's it going to change in your experience or let's say oh we're being manipulated by society okay that's something you can't change even if you bring it to light Mm -hmm. what's that going to do yeah are you going to get more money from it are you going to gain more happiness Mm -hmm. you know true well, I mean, maybe... But then people could argue, like, well, then you're just, like, a sheep sleeping in the masses. Yeah, but I'm a happy sheep. Right. You know? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's with, like, everything. Climate change, um, the Bilderberg group, all that craziness. It's like the banking system's enslaving us. It is. It is. But I do like the fact that I can play video games right now. And video games are a bit built off the banking system yeah exactly so you know you have to take the good with the bad it can't always be roses right you know mm-hmm. that's all okay <laughs> yeah yeah i mean yeah I, did. I spend a lot of time just for fun looking at both sides so. yeah see and like and that's something i i just look at it superficially i just like philosophize over it but you like really go deep dive in a lot of things mm-hmm. which i feel like I don't have the time to do that. <laughs> like, I do it to a degree, and then I just right. rely on you to fill in the gaps because okay. you, like, you obsessively look at both sides. Yeah, it's... You know. It's, but, like, I just... I don't know how you I do it. I don't know why. Because, like, I would be irritated, like, watching me, like, oh, come on, bro. I get it. I get it. Come on. <laughs> this is so dumb. I uh, just find it fun, I guess. Yeah, human nature. Hilarious. Yeah. 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 All right. Apple? Yeah, Apple. Something different they did. Mm-hmm. So there was something they announced back in 2017. Okay. Supposedly supposed to be released in 2018. Uh-uh. Delays. 
yeah, of course. Yeah, they didn't ever mention it was delayed, but they never talked about it until mm. I think it was Friday when they said they had to cancel that project. Okay. So it's well, something very really different. Sad. It's very different that normally uh, Apple doesn't really tell what they do. So mm. when they, I mean, they generally can cancel things, but nothing would, that's internal, right? So mm -hmm. nobody knows about it. Mm -hmm. Like when the iPad first, or when they were working on the, the touchscreen stuff, it was they're working on the iPad first. Then they came that it, we're not ready for the iPad or they weren't, whatever. The, so they focused on iPhone. Okay. Using the same iPad technology. Okay. Then they went back to iPad and then, so like, but nobody knew about that. Oh, they just like put it on the shelf. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but by true. announcing something and then not coming out and then saying it's canceled now, it's like a, it's oh, a bad, yeah, yeah. it's a bad light. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a bad view. This is I, so they thought. I guess they would have if figured Steve it Jobs out. Jobs is here. That wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it, this thing was called. It's called Air Power. Uh -huh. Where you would charge all three devices, like an so, iPhone. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, just a quick pause on that. It's funny how um, when Steve Jobs was handing it over to Tim Cook, he's like, "This is your Apple now." Mm -hmm. I wonder if, like, that was also a double thing where he's like, if you mess it up, that's on you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Maybe. my my reign is done. Anyways. well, So we can always look back and be like, Steve Jobs is a genius. <laughs> you know? <laughs> They'll always, yeah, that, that line always comes up, though. What? Steve Jobs wouldn't have done that or just that. I mean, oh, really? Yeah. I, don't know, I, I always see that one. Natural tendencies. All right, go ahead. But he did give it to Tim Cook to do whatever he wants to do. That's what I'm saying. But that's probably because he's like, if people think that I'm, like, I wrote out directives beyond the grave, then they'll be blaming my corpse yeah. for undo things. Mm -hmm. But to openly be like, hey, this is on you now. It's like, yeah. I've washed my hands clean of this. <laughs> right. He, it, it's almost like he's like, you know, really weird association. He's like Jesus. Maybe. <laughs> no, 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 think about it, think about it. Right. He completed his life mission and he left the earth. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Right. His whole mission in life was to give us Apple. Mm -hmm. That's what he was so driven towards. It like cost him his family. And then he died. His family? Huh? Yeah. And then there was like a strange daughter. That was, yeah, before. Yeah. But Not still. Now. Yeah, but still. Well, I mean, I'm saying like, he you, you can't. kind of fix himself. Yeah, but you didn't, you got to break some eggs. Yeah. Just like the whole. But he still has, he has a family still though. No, no, totally, totally. I'm saying like, it was evident that his life mission was Apple. Uh, yeah, right. Not to build a family. Right. Right. Like, oh, whereas yeah, most people's yeah. life mission is like, let me just have children. That's right. their life mission, right? Yeah. But like, his was like to provide us with Apple. And then he died. Yeah. And now we have a legend. <laughs> just like Jesus was like, actually, they'd already. Back they, I mean, there, there's other stories of him being like Jesus when he That's left. That's exactly. When, See? Uh, told actually, you. for like um, being kicked out of. Apple like and then he did. wandered and, for yeah. those years yeah man and he it's a Jesus back story and took over the kingdom it's, uh, it's like Lion King but you know Jesus. well they Lion they King did it in a better Jesus. they said it in a better way than what I just said but yeah but that's that's just the archetypical story of like he, everyone yeah like true. wait what are you gonna do with that like what what are your <laughs> other options you only got two options you get kicked out either you come back or you leave it alone right, right. you know what I mean yeah and Jesus too yeah so uh, this one, they could not figure out the technology. They just, I don't, I don't think the technology was ready yet. So okay. basically, like right now, you can do wireless charging, right? Okay, yeah. But it's one device at a time on the oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So They're trying to do multiple. They wanted to have, a, they called it Air Power, where they would have three things, so which would be the app, uh, generally the iPhone, uh -huh. watch, and your AirPods uh -huh. wireless charging, uh -huh, uh -huh. all on the same pad. That's pretty sick. But it, they couldn't figure out it, the it's called like a coil system or whatever it was. Uh -huh. So they, it, uh, it did not meet their, you know, their high standards as they right, say. Right. And I guess it was overheating issues and things like that. So they, they that's I mean, they tried to work on it, I guess, for over a year trying to couldn't do it and couldn't, couldn't do it. Yeah, that's all good. The tech is not there. Uh, I guess it happens sometimes, but it, this was like the first for Apple. It, it's so funny. I remember. It's so funny. Cause I'm still used to like tethered. So when I went to the Apple store, like, two days ago, <laughs> um, I was like, I saw these iPads. I was like, oh, yeah, let me, like an iPad, okay. right? And I was like, oh, let me, let me, um, wait, wait. It yeah. is charged by air power, right? iPads? No. Oh, okay. So then I was just confused. Never mind. 
Okay. Never no, not, not, not iPad. There was like a little pad on the iPad, and I was, or was it an iPad? I was showing you? I think it was an iPad. But I was like <laughs> looking at it, and then like I picked it up, and I was like, is this charging right now? I don't think the iPad. And then I was the confused. Oh, okay, okay, okay. iPhones do, Apple Watches do. Oh, okay, okay. Right, okay. you know, yours is wireless yeah. charger. Uh, not mine, stairs. Your um, Apple Watch. Your, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Her, yeah, her, her, Tara's iPhone, yeah. So yeah. It's going to be wireless charged, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. See, but that's how, see how the confusion began? I thought mm-hmm. the pad that it was being held on was the charger as well. I was like, what the hell's up with this technology right now? Oh. You know, because, like, I started to associate mm-hmm. wireless charging. So I went there, and I was like, oh, this platform must be a wireless charger. That's how advanced I think Apple is in my head. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're building this, like, perception of being, like, this state-of-the-art, like, technology corporation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, yeah, that was kind of interesting. That story was not as cool as if I thought if it was actually wireless charging because I thought it was wireless charging I was like oh I thought this was just an, a pad <laughs> and then now it's like no it really was just a pad you're just dumb I'm like oh right okay never mind delete that story from your memories everyone alright continue yeah so uh, no, I'm just saying like they could not figure that out and people were wondering is it going to get cancelled or is because mm, they keep hearing like it's overheating mm-hmm so it was it was just an interesting it would it would have been a very cool product to have because nobody else is doing that true but i guess they oversold it or overhyped it overhyped not or they shouldn't have announced it unless it was work, like unless they had right had working, I, see I, think, I think i think because now there's like you know all the memes now <laughs> about it just mm. that they yeah failed by apple <laughs> yeah because 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 the, recently they just released the what would Steve do? Which is also I guess I guess an internal didn't I guess nobody got the memo internally, but the wire, new wireless AirPods that came out mm-hmm. had the image of the Air Powers. Uh, the oh, on it, I so see. it's like oh, is it coming out now? Oh, rough. And then at the end of the week, it was like oh shit, it's it's canceled. Oh, too bad, too bad. <laughs> Overhyped. <laughs> So that was, that was like a first. That's at least why I gotta for me keep it to close see. to the vest, bro. I, but that's what they do, but they didn't. I do guess it this time. I, I think at that time either they wanted, really that, wanted that one more thing kind of thing. I guess yeah. So they, I guess they. What would Steve do, bro? What would didn't, Steve do? It did not work out. <laughs> uh-uh. True. Yeah, what would Steve do? Who knows? Yeah, he probably yelled at them a little harder. Would have been like, "We're not going home." For this entire year until it's made <laughs> probably right you know what i'm saying like what will steve do or not announce it unless it's like almost very ready. close yeah if unless the last thing is like aesthetics like what color are we gonna make it yeah and then you can be like yeah we're gonna we're gonna release this thing right i think i think that would be better but yeah just marketing decisions whatever well i get they had to say it because people were talking more and more about it and nothing was happening and people wanted to know what was going on mm, yeah so they had to reveal that. That yeah, okay. I I think they'll do their own wireless charging, but just not this way. Right. Well, whatever. I mean, just fine. They're smarter than us, so like whatever. It's like thank you, technology gods, for <laughs> granting us right these right. amazing devices. Yeah. All we can really do is wait. That's also why I don't really like like. Like, if it's like, oh, this could have been better, like this or whatever, it's like, yeah, it could have been, but at the end of the day, they created it. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to create it. <laughs> I'm just going to appreciate your divine gift, your right. technology gods. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, even though this is a hard mess, it's like, whatever. You'll come out with something better mm-hmm. later on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think they will, yeah. yeah. All right, so speaking yeah. of... Over promising and under delivering. Oh. Quantum physics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. But how does that tie into it? <laughs> uh, so, over promising, quantum physics. Nobody knows what quantum physics is, man. It's like, it's so above the level of comprehension. In mm-hmm. order to understand true quantum physics, you have to go beyond mind and realize that we are beings that are 
more mystical. Okay. And anyone who says they understand quantum physics is a liar because quantum physics is so difficult to understand. Mm -hmm. These are all the overhyping, underdelivering, because at the end of the day, after reading that fabric of cosmos book, mm -hmm. the fabric of the yeah. universe, quantum physics is just we don't know the math or have the tools to support our findings. Yeah. And that's it. People overhyped that one. I was like, oh, man, I'm going to read this book. I'm going to learn about the craziness. Overhyped it? The... Like, what? what were you thinking? Because people, like, every time we talk about quantum physics, like, all right, so in mystical worlds, in myst like in mysticism, yeah, like in the esoteric like realms, okay. yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, the, the, yeah, yeah. the Malawares and the... the Again, talking about uh, those people? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Those those people. They they often attribute quantum physics as being like, see, man, like quantum physics is like um, corroborating our belief system mm -hmm. as to why crystals should heal your body. Oh, you know, saying oh. like they're they're using quantum physics as as a means to prop up their like pseudoscience. Okay, but then if you actually look into quantum physics, yes, a lot of theories are holding true so like mystics of old like uh -huh. in the ancient texts it's a lot of quantum physics right okay so like a lot of what they were saying yeah is being proven now through quantum physics but not everything so it's like okay if if you take one thing that's true and mm. you attribute it to the whole then it's like okay now you're just over hyping and yeah. under delivering because yeah. at the end of the day it's like not everything's true so let me give you an example um in ancient texts they say like oh everything is so okay there's this thing called prakriti which is nature and then it's it's subject to the gunas mm -hmm. yeah. okay and the gunas are ever changing okay so basically we live in a changing reality nothing is still everything's always changing and moving mm -hmm. okay they've proven that through quantum physics okay because like yeah Okay. all like so like relativity so like for we've created these tools in the outer world like in the macro world so i don't want to say outer world because then people are gonna be like see there's an outer and inner world there are but all right that's not what i'm talking about there's macro tools mm -hmm. and math macro ma mathematics okay. so what we see is like i can i can study the apple falling on my head i can um i can like figure out the relative velocity of something mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but like in the micro world, these things, like these th these mathematical equations and like tools that we've been using, don't actually apply because the gravity is different. It yeah. all comes down to gravity, mm -hmm. and like and um, well, gravity and like other things like particles. So like the the jumping. Okay, wait, wait. I'm, I'm splitting my topics. All right. So back to the the ever moving. So like what they say is like you can't. Because you're moving hmm. and because the yeah. other thing's moving, we yeah. can see it at a macro level and and um, quantify that, mm -hmm. right? But on a micro level, they're both moving so frequently that it's impossible for us to, to quantify things on such a small scale. Right. Do you get know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because cause there's too much movement to track. Mm-hmm. Right, because like yeah. you don't vis you don't visually see it yeah. in the mi macro scale, so okay. you think that you're you're constantly still. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you think that relative to you, this object is moving at a specific speed because you're constant. You're not moving. You're at speed zero. Okay. Okay, but if you look at your molecules, your molecules, and in relation to the curve uh, uh, rotation of the Earth. Mm -hmm you're not at a constant zero. You're moving as well. Yeah, okay. So, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. so to, to calculate something that's moving while you're moving, it's impossible. Because okay. you, need, you need one constant at zero. Because mm -hmm. what becomes your zero? Do you know what I'm saying? I think so. Um, Maybe. So, okay. So if you're not moving but you go to the molecular scale, your atoms are moving. Okay. Right? Yeah. So now even if you breathe, that's going to change your velocity of your atoms. 
mm-hmm. because you're moving. Like, every, like there's, there's, there's no constant zero. Okay. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why it's hard for them to calculate these little particles, and they say like everything. But see, like the the like the ancient mm-hmm. yogis, they knew this too. They were like, oh, everything's moving. They just didn't have the tools to measure that everything's moving. They just believe that everything's moving from what they saw in their outer world, right? They saw like, okay, if the planets are moving, we must be moving as well. Okay. Right? But like on a molecular scale. So well, science... Well, they, they might have got it right just by accident? Could... Intuition. It's just, it's or, just a guess. Yeah, that's not, yeah. Right? So it's like... So because they've... That's, that's exactly what I'm getting at. It's mm-hmm. like... Quantum physics is proving a bunch of things, and then all these people are like attributing ancient knowledge right, right, right. to it, and they're yeah. like, "See, ancient knowledge is correct." It's like, no, that just, it just aligned. Yeah, right. Right. So like, um, so there's that one, mm. the uh, Lagunas. Um, the other one is like, your if you like things teleport. Mm-hmm. So like, if there's an atom. And then you're trying to, or it's, it's like an electron because they use an electron in it. Yeah. If you if you try and like measure or like see the electron at a quantum scale, it jumps. And mm-hmm. then people are like, okay, so like alternate realities, teleportation's real, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like no, because in order to measure that electron, you need to shoot a photon at it, which is like a light beam. Mm-hmm. But the light beam carries some mass. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that mass pushes that electron further. So it's like, mm-hmm. again, we're not actually, we're not actually, we're not actually looking at the reality of the situation. We're attributing our mysticism towards it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So basically, what I'm getting at here is, quantum physics is the bleeding edge of math and science, mm-hmm. where people don't actually know what's going on. And because we don't know what's going on, people are using yes. that as a means yes, yes, to prop yes. up oh, yeah. whatever it is they want to believe. Exactly. And that, that's what I find ridiculous. Because I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. reading it. I'm like, okay, you're just saying you don't know. You're just saying you don't know. You know? And, and the things that you do know, it's like, oh, that, that lines up nicely with freaking mm-hmm. ancient understanding. Right. It doesn't mean ancient understanding is correct. Yeah. It just means that you were onto something. We just didn't study it up until now. Yeah. Like uh, good, you good may example. have been onto something. It's like I'm, I'm afraid you may have been onto something. So I, I'm a, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the dentist, although I'm getting a lot better because the dentist I go to now is amazing. Shout out to you guys, North York Smile Center. Mm-hmm. Um, but but so like oil pulling. So I was like, oh, I don't want any more cavities. So I'm going to research like what people did, and like, and they're saying like. Oh, back in the ancient times, nobody had, um, nobody had cavities because they oil pulled. Okay. Right. They would just oil pull, and then the they would just like swish oil in their mouth, like very fatty oil, like coconut oil or like sunflower seed oil, and okay. then it'll take out the bacteria, and then you spit that oil out, and then you have no more potential for cavities. Uh huh. Okay. And then the dentist was like, "That's not actually correct. Yeah. It doesn't really work like that." <laughs> kind of, kind of, like we're we're realizing that some of that stuff is true, but that's not going to save you from cavities, because right. cavities don't always mm-hmm. like they're they're well what I what I believe because I was asking about cavities like your your tooth is always um, being bombarded, and it's like between developing a cavity and not developing a cavity, like it's, it's called remineralization. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. demineralizes and remineralizes okay. all day. Okay. So it's like this one act of using oil mm-hmm. is not going to like substantially change that. Okay. Yeah. Relative to whatever it else is you do. Mm-hmm. It's sort of like Tara's egg study where it's like, okay, those people, although they were affected by eating eggs, it's like they actually ate eggs a very little and they were doing a lot of other things that we don't actually know what they were doing. Mm-hmm. And we're attributing this one variable to a greater mm-hmm. outcome. Yeah. You know? True. True. Basically, look at the science. Not everything is. Like, 
we're so desperate for hope that we're a yeah, greater, you know what I'm saying? Great. Like, yeah. we want to be bigger than we think we are, but we don't realize that we are just a part of the whole, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Like, there's this, uh, there's this great thing I heard at church once, like, the forced to go as a kid and like but i this one stuck with me because i was like oh this is actually a really truthful saying and they said like Mm -hmm. god had a competition with man and then man was like god i've become just as good or better than you i can create anything now and then god's like all right solid let's have a competition okay okay he's like we're both going to create something amazing and then see who wins which who makes the better like amazing thing okay and then Man's like, all right, solid. I'm going to beat you. And then God goes, wait, wait, wait. You can't use anything that I've created. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So I'm saying? So it's like, it's like you just, we just think we're greater than we are. That's the fallacy of man. Mm-hmm. Or humans, because, like, you know, gender neutral here. <laughs> okay. But, you know, like, yeah. and, and that's what I feel like we're doing with quantum science or, like, things like, oh, we're the only sentient beings on Earth. We're, like, the masters of it. If we really are, then what about the oceans? Like, we, we barely know anything about the oceans. That's true. Oh, even, you know, even space, we don't know anything about There's a lot of things we don't know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But see, like, if you read things quantum like... Physics. Quantum physics. Quantum physics, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. So if you read... Uh, I read this book. Um, it's very famous. Uh, the, the Secret. Oh. Okay, so the secret uses quantum physics. Oh, did you know that you if you, yeah, yeah, because your your thoughts, your thought that it's a thing in okay. quantum physics, where um, your thoughts can manifest your reality. Mm-hmm. Like, so you know that thing where it's like if a butterfly flaps its wings, a tornado will happen in Hawaii. Okay, you yeah. heard that right? Yeah, like you yeah. heard that analogy. Yeah. So that is that the basic concept is basically what they're trying to do with quantum physics and envisioning your life goal okay so it's like you're looking at so they say in it like envision it and it'll happen it'll come Mm -hmm. and science has proven this because our thoughts actually affect reality okay through quantum physics all right and in that book it did bring up like yeah your thoughts can your thoughts may didn't say can does it's Uh like may this is just a theory we're looking into as well okay but because we haven't fully figured it out, you can hop on the bandwagon of, see, we were right. But it's like, nobody's going to look into the science and be like, mm-hmm. oh, because then it's not proven. It's like, it's like, we might be correct, we might be wrong. So they're erring on the side of being correct rather than okay. being reductionist, which I found out was what we are, like you and I. I came across this like terminology. It's called reductionist scientists, where you look yeah, at the, like, word, so. yeah, I didn't know what it meant. So it's like you look at the very base principle of whatever it is. Mm. So like, it uh, if you or there's another thing like Occam's razor, where you like you cut away all the BS and like look at what's going on. Yeah. Right. Anyways, um, so that that's basically what what people are doing. They're they're attributing this grand thing to something. Like, it, if we don't know, it might be true. Rather than being pessimistic, like, one would call that optimistic, right? Yeah. I'd call that deceitful, but to each their own. But, like, rather than being like, we don't know, so we can't say anything about it. They're on the other side. We don't know, so it's probably true. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the hope, I mean. Right. We're hoping that we're something greater than we are because we're, we feel so inadequate in our daily lives. Uh-huh. But it's like, that's just a, a thought perspective. You're not inadequate. You're just choosing to think you are. Right. So you're, you're, you're choosing hope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does that make sense? I think, I think when, it does. When you go into quantum physics, you get into like, I mean like when, when you start talking about it, it's like it sounds so like, it was so hard for me to explain what it is I read to you and like with the whole like relative velocity thing because it's like, Yeah. It's such like it's such a difficult concept to um, understand, right? Or conceptualize, yeah, because we don't really understand it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, mm-hmm. don't be as hopeful. Be proactive. Proactive, yes. Like sure. 
if you believe in a goal, don't just envision it. Make it happen for yourself. Because mm. quantum physics is unknown. So we can't safely say that just because you envision it means that you're going to get it. I remember this one guy. All right, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous, right? I remember this one guy. All right, oh, that so. was my gripe with the secret for a long time. Th- that's what I'm saying. But, like, it's, it's just too much hope. Like, I don't like hope. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. But I, I wrote that Young Yoda quote where it's like, hope carries humans. Mm-hmm. Because that's, that's what we need. Right, it's like we yeah, were, yeah, we're yeah. back in the day when we didn't have any of this, and we're just like a small tribe, and we're like, okay, we're gonna go across the earth. You had to be hopeful that something was there, or else it's a death mission. Yeah, you know, so it's like I understand why we need hope. Yeah, we still we need that, of course. Yeah, yeah. Like at the end of the day, if you have cancer, you still have to hope that it's gonna go away. Well, well, yeah, I mean, or else you don't hope, works. and then you get really freaking sad. Like it's like. It, right. it, it's almost like we have this toolbox of making ourselves feel better and like hope is just one of the tools but don't get caught up in a single tool right you know maybe knowledge is the tool maybe uh, proactivity is the tool mm-hmm. maybe acceptance is the tool you yeah. know yeah but like I feel like society is really caught up in hope uh, they are yeah but well. society is just made up of humans so really humans are just made up of hope see that reductionist right there it's not society it's people we live in a society yeah. It's a meme. Oh. Learn yeah. to code. <laughs> yeah. Or learn to philosophize because if you can't code, at least you can share ideas. Mm, I guess. Yeah. All right. So till next week, hopefully we'll have that um, behind the scenes tour for you guys. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited about it because I love watching. I love watching those because they inspire me. Okay. So I think it'd be cool if we like put that out there and then like. It'll inspire other people. You know what's funny? All right, sorry, last thing, last thing. Um, when I, when we do things, yeah, like especially social media-wise, like even with this podcast, it's like, oh, you guys want like fame or like attribution or like, no, obviously those things would be cool, but at the end of the day, it's really just about spreading the inspiration that we've felt mm-hmm. to other people. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like ammunition. Ammunition? Ammunition? Ammun- ammunition. Ammun- I'm just ammunition, bro. Like, an- ammunition? Anyways, check her out. She's, she's awesome. Uh, she does, like, a lot of behind-the-scenes, like, yeah. PC stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like, that was very inspiring to me. Yeah. So, so it's like, well, we're doing something similar. So it's like, maybe you're curious as to our setup. Or, like, she has, like, these, these tattoo explanations. And I used to read them. Right before Game Mode Tattoo, because mm-hmm. I like that stuff. Yeah. You search her name. What is it? Ammunition. Like ammunition. Yeah. Yeah. So Ann, A-N-N-E, munition. munition. Yeah. Check her out. She's dope. Twitch. Anyways. Better nice. Till next time. Peace. Wait, wait. You didn't see your final thought, Vish. Go ahead. I want that apple card. Yeah, that's titanium. That's going to be so dope. <laughs> You probably kill somebody with that. I was, I'll pull that out and just like slit your throat with that titanium. Oh, you know, Sorry, okay. infinite destroyer right here. That's not good PR. That's that's not good PR for, for them, right? <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine if somebody killed somebody with? That's like the worst PR. If you were, oh man, all right, don't do this, but this is a dope idea. If you worked for Samsung and you're like, oh no, I want this Apple card to go down, just hire like a crazy person. And then just get them to like kill somebody with the Apple Card because made it titanium, and then that's just terrible PR. Be like, uh, yeah. you should have thought this through, Apple. Well, I guess. I wonder if we can get in trouble for sharing that idea. <laughs> just now, I'm like, hmm. Oh no. Mm, I don't know. That's definitely freedom gonna, of speech. Yeah, that's definitely gonna li- limit job offers in the future, though. <laughs> Like, we're just joking. So, yeah, no, no, no. I'm like, gonna you know, turn up to an interview, and then they're gonna pull out and be like, "So in this podcast, you said that mm-hmm. you think, unless like you work for like a tech firm, and they're like, wow, these are brilliant ideas.' <laughs> so who knows? All right, rambling now. Take it easy. Till next week. Peace. Bye.